most cells in the human body just go about their business on a daily basis in a fairly respectable way. Let's say that I have some cell here. This could be maybe a, a, a skin cell or really any cell in any tissue of the body. And as, it, as that tissue is growing or it's replacing dead cells, the, the, the cells will experience mitosis and replicate themselves, make perfect copies of each other. And then those two maybe will experience mitosis. And then if they realize that, gee, you know, it's getting a little bit of, it's getting a little crowded. There are other cells in my neighborhood. There are other cells in my neighborhood. They'll recognize that and they'll say, you know, what, I'm going to stop growing a little bit. That's called contact inhibition. Contact inhibition. And so they'll just start growing. And then let's say one of them experiences a little defect, a little defect. And he says, you know what, gee, you know, I'm, I'm not really, you know, something's a little bit wrong with me. I, the cell, recognize this in myself. And the cells will actually kill themselves. That's how good of, of cellular citizens they are. They'll kind of uh, uh, make way for other healthy cells. So this guy might even kill himself if he realizes that there's something wrong with it. There's actually a cellular mechanism that does that. It's called apoptosis. And I want to make this very clear. This isn't somehow some type of outside influence on the cell. The cell itself recognizes that it's somehow damaged, and it just destroys itself. So apoptosis. So that's the regular circumstance, even when there is a mutation. And just to give you an idea, even if mutations are relatively infrequent, and I don't know the exact frequencies at which mutations occur. I suspect it's of different frequencies in different types of tissues. There are on the order of, on the order of 100 billion one, let me do a different color. They're on the order of 100 billion new cells in the human body per day. Per day. So even if you only, even if a mutation only occurs one in a million times, you're still dealing with roughly 100,000 mutations. And maybe most of the mutations, you know, maybe they're just some little random things that don't really do a lot. But if the mutations are a little bit more severe, the cell will recognize it and destroy itself. And I want to make a, a clear, a very clear point here. I'm talking about the cell, the the cells of the body, or most of the body. This could be the cells in my in my eye or the cells in my brain or the cells on my um, on my leg. These aren't my germ cells. So these mutations, even if the cell survives, will not be passed on to my offspring. That's an entirely different discussion when we talk about meiosis. These are all my body cells, and they're replicating. And we've gone over this with with, with mitosis. Mitosis. So any mutations here, uh, they'll either do nothing, or the cells might malfunction a little bit, or the cells might uh, hurt themselves or hurt me, but they're not going to affect my offspring. And I want to make that point very clear. Now you're saying, hey, Sal, 100 billion new cells a day. I must, you know, that must mean like every cell in my body is recreated. Well, and that just gives you an idea of how many cells we have. We actually have on the order of. And, you know, it's obviously not an exact number, but there's actually in the human body there's on the order of. 100 trillion cells. 100 trillion cells. And if you look at it that way, you say, on average, 1,000th of your cells replicate each day. But the reality is some cells don't replicate uh, that frequently at all, and some cells replicate much more frequently. But this just gives you, I mean, you know, just to take a little side note here, this gives you a, an appreciation, I think, for the complexity of the human body. I mean, we think of our own uh, uh, world economy and, and world society is so complex. It's made up of 6 billion humans. We're made up of 100 trillion cells. 100 trillion. Let me rewrite 100 trillion in billions. 100 trillion can be rewritten as 100,000 billion cells. And each one of those 100,000 billion, billion cells are these uh, huge, I, 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 don't, I shouldn't use the word huge, but they're, they're these complex there are these complex ecosystems in and of themselves with their nucleuses. And we'll talk about all the different organelles they have. And we talked about cellular uh, replication, DNA replication, and how the cell replicates. So these things aren't jokes. And they have all of these, you know, these complex membranes that take things into them. And you know, th they are creatures to themselves. But they live in this complex, uh, you can almost view it an environment or society that is, that is each of us. So that's just a side note, just to appreciate how large and how complex we are.
But you can imagine, uh, as you know, this is how I got off on this tangent. If we're making on the if we're making on the order 100 billion new cells every day, you're going to have a lot of mutations, and maybe some of the mutations, uh, you know, I said some of them don't do anything. Some of them, the cell recognizes that the cell is just going to be kind of, uh, uh, you know, dead weight, so the st- the cell kind of eliminates itself. But every now and then, you have mutations where the cell doesn't eliminate itself, and it also deforms the cell. So when you have that, let's say I have some cell here. I have some cell, and it's got some mutation. I'll do that mutation with a little, with a little X right here, with a little X. That's it's in a DNA. Maybe it's got a couple of mutations. So one of the mutations keeps it from experiencing apoptosis or destroying itself, and maybe one of the mutations makes it replicate a little bit faster than its neighbors. So this cell, through mitosis. It makes a bunch of copies of itself, a ton of copies of itself. And this kind of body of cells, this body of cells that essentially has a defect. They're all from one original cell that kept duplicating, and then those duplicating. But all of these are defective cells. If you were to look at them and in, in kind of a you know on uh, compared to the tissue around it, it would look abnormal in some way. Maybe it wouldn't function properly. This is called a neoplasm. 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 Now, a lot of neoplasms, well, they don't have to form a body like this. Sometimes they might somehow circulate in the body, but most of the times they form this kind of this big lump, and if they get large enough, they're noticeable, and that's when we call it a tumor. So if this is if this is actually a lump, a lump of kind of differentiated of, of tissue that's definitely abnormal, that's what you call a tumor. So the ter- term neoplasm and tumor are often used interchangeably. Tumor is the word we use more in our everyday vocabulary. Now, if these kind of, if this lump just kind of grows to a certain size, but it doesn't, you know, it's just there. Doesn't really do anything dangerous. It's not, it's not, it's not replicating out of control. Um, I guess it's not replicating a lot faster than its neighboring cells, and it's just hanging out, maybe growing a little bit, uh, but in, in not in any significant way harming our environment. We call that a benign tumor or benign neoplasm. Benign, and benign essentially means harmless. Benign tumor. That means if it's you know that's that's good. You want to hear that. If you got a lump, uh, uh, God forbid you you have a lump either way. But if you do, it's a benign tumor. That means you know that lump it can kind of stick around, no damage done. But if these if these if these DNA mutations, maybe some of these are, it is benign, but maybe one of the benign ones has another mutation in it that starts making it grow like crazy. Grow like crazy. And not only does it grow like crazy, but it becomes invasive. And invasive means that it starts, it doesn't care what's going on around it. It just wants to infiltrate everything. So let's say that guy grows like crazy, and he starts, let me do it in a different color, and he starts infiltrating other tissue. So he's invasive. Invasive. So super growth. Super growth. He's invasive. So he starts he doesn't care what's going on. He's all of a sudden turned into some type of a cellular psychopath. And even worse, his descendants, it's not just one cell anymore. He just keeps duplicating and passing on this kind of uh, a broken genetic information that makes it want to replicate. And then maybe more even more uh, you know, there could be more and more uh, uh, things that break down in its, uh, I guess, offspring or or the, the the DNA that comes from its replications, and actually that's that's a good likelihood because the same parts of its DNA that broke down, some of the some of the DNA that that broke down in this guy, some of the mutations might have actually hurt the DNA replication scheme, so that mutations become more frequent, so more frequent mutations, more frequent. So as they as these replicate, more and more mutations appear, and then maybe eventually one of the mutations appears that allows these cells to break off, break off, and then travel to other parts of the body, to travel to other parts of the body, and then in those parts of the body start to take over and start taking over all of the cells. And this process is called the the cell has meta. This is one of the hardest words for me to say. Something wrong with my brain, but the cell has. Metastasized. 
metastasized. You might have heard the word metastasis. And that's just the notion of these, these run amok cells all of, a sudden, all of a sudden being able to travel to different parts of the body. And I think you guys know what we call these cells, these cells that aren't respecting their cellular neighborhood. They're growing like crazy. They don't experience that contact inhibition. They're invasive. They, they, start, they, they, don't, they start crowding out other cells and hogging up the resources. And they keep mutating really fast because they have all of these genetic abnormalities. And eventually, they might even break away and start infiltrating other parts of the body. These are cancers or cancer cells. Cancer cells. And so you might have an appreciation for why this is so hard. Uh, uh, cancer is such a, a hard disease to, to quote unquote cure, because it really isn't just one disease. It's not like one type of bacteria or one type of virus that you can pinpoint and say, let's attack this. Cancer is a whole class of mutations where the cells start exhibiting this fast, invasive growth and this metastasis. So you know, you might look at one type of cancer and be able to say, hey, let's target you know, the mutation that where the, cell, where the cells look like this, and you're able to knock out, you're able to knock out some of them. Let me do a this and this color. So maybe you're able to knock out that guy, that guy, that guy. But they're, the, because their DNA replication system might be broken in some way, they continue to mutate. So eventually, you have one version that's able to not be knocked out by whatever method you get. And so you have this kind of new form of cancer. And then that new form of cancer is even harder to kill. So you can imagine that cancer is a, it's, it's kind of a, a never-ending fight. And you kind of have to attack the general idea behind it, it, it when you, when you uh, uh, chemotherapy and radiation, all of these type of things, they try to attack things that are fast growing, because that's the kind of one common theme behind all of the cancers. And we could do a whole playlist on, on you know, what cancer is and how people are attacking it. But I wanted to at least show you in this video that cancer really is just a byproduct of broken mitosis, or, bro or any, even more specifically, broken DNA repl replication, that we have all of these all of the all of these cells replicating themselves every day, you know, on the order of a hundred billion, and every now and then something breaks. Usually, when they break, the cell not, either nothing happens or the cell kills itself. But every now and then, the cells start replicating, you know, even though they're broken. And sometimes they start replicating like crazy. If they just replicate, but they're really not doing any harm, it's a benign. But if they start replicating like crazy, taking over resources and spreading through the body, you're dealing with a cancer. So hopefully you found that interesting. We already you already know a good bit of the science that kind of deals with uh, what is probably you know one of the one of the worst uh, ailments that that we deal with as 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 creatures. And you know obviously we're not the only people who can experience cancers. Even plants have cancers.